hello all welcome back to our channel so students in this video we are gonna discuss about the explanation video of three column cash book which is a damn sure question for 12 marks they will definitely ask in part b so whatever the thing i'm saying in this video if you watch this video without skipping the video then you can score 12 marks 12 marks is in your hands only so everything if you are a non-commerce student also you can easily understand by watching this video okay so just you all all you need to do is you should not skip the video and watch till the end then you will easily get understand okay so students let's get into the video it's triple column cash book which is definite question for long so compulsory they will ask for long so try to watch this video don't skip the video okay so again and again by watching this video you can score 12 marks for long in part b pakha problematic question they will ask in the question paper so so if you are having a zero knowledge about this triple column or else any accounting subject it's no problem by watching this video you will easily get to know okay so if you understand the concept of triple column means you need to follow the journal entries journal entries nechukoka mundu meer triple column anedi nechukoleru you should know the uh, journal entries okay if you know the journal entries only you will get a triple column cash book okay so before watching this video try to watch journal entries video which i have already posted in our youtube channel so it will be helpful to you all students okay so to understand the triple column you need to be perfect with journal entries if you are perfect with the journal entries 12 marks is in your hands only okay so triple column means cash and bank transactions whatever we are uh, re, means uh, whatever will be the organization in the organization evai uh, transactions related to the bank or the cash untundo danni manamu triple column debit side as well as the credit side lo manam veskodam jarugutundi okay na so students uh manaki journal entries so whatever the accounts we are having how many types of accounts we are having three types of accounts we are having personal account real account and nominal account okay so journal entries ostene triple column ostundi again i'm saying okay so in this uh triple column you will have a contra entry what is mean by contra entry so uh, we will heard a Uh, like uh, this word but we we know the we don't know the depth about this thing so what is mean by contra entry means cash and bank transactions uh, if you are writing journal entries okay so cash bank rendu vaste dani manam contra entry antamo we need to transfer we need to post this journal entry in the both sides debit side as well as the credit side of triple column cash book so in detail we will discuss so what will be the format of what will be the pro forma debit and credit triple column cash book date particulars lf discount allowed cash bank is of debit side malla date particulars lf discount received ikka discount is allowed discount is received cash bank is of credit side ఇంకొకటి యూ కెన్ ఈజీలీ రిమెంబర్ ద డెబిట్ సైడ్ అని ఇన్కమ్స్ వస్తాయి క్రెడిట్ సైడ్ అని పేమెంట్స్ వస్తాయి అని గుర్తుపెట్టుకోండి సరిపోతుంది ఓకేనా సో అగైన్ వాట్ ఐ షుడ్ సే స్టూడెంట్స్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ పర్చేస్డ్ మిషనరీ పర్చేస్డ్ మిషనరీ మీన్స్ వాట్ విల్ బి ద జర్నల్ ఎంట్రీ మెషినరీ అకౌంట్ డెటార్ టు cash account while purchasing missionary cash is going out right so this is the journal entry transaction okay so here what we are having cash is of credit side cash ekkad undandi credit side lo undi then opposite em undi machinery undi so mana triple column cash book lo cash and bank ani veskoddu except contra entry so then opposite em undi machinery undi so machinery anedi eskovali machinery debit side eskovala credit side eskovala debit side eppudaina 2 tho ni start avutundi credit side eppudaina buy tho ni start avutundi so ikkada 2 cash annapudu ikkada 2 anna unnapudu then opposite em undi machinery is of 
డెబిట్ సైడ్ ఇక్కడ డెబిట్ అయితే బై బై అంటే డెబిట్ కదా బై అంటే క్రెడిట్ కదా మా ట్రిపుల్ కాలం లా బై మెషినరీ అకౌంట్ అని చెప్పేయాలి క్యాష్ కాలం లో క్యాష్ అమౌంట్ బ్యాంక్ కాలం లో బ్యాంక్ అకౌంట్ బ్యాంక్ అమౌంట్ ఇఫ్ వి ఆర్ రిసీవింగ్ ఎనీ డిస్కౌంట్ వీ నీ టు ఎంటర్ దిస్ ఇఫ్ వి ఆర్ రిసీవ్ ఇఫ్ వి ఆర్ అలౌవింగ్ ఎనీ డిస్కౌంట్ టు సంబడి మీన్స్ వీ షుడ్ రైట్ హియర్ ఓకే సేమ్ so now we will look into the question so it will be helpful to you all so easily you will understand it okay students so this is the question mark prepare triple column cash book from the following transactions what they are asking triple column cash book they are asking for the year 2019 2019 january 1st cash in hand cash at bank the opening balance will be always written on the debit side okay students the opening balance will always be written in the debit side of the pro forma okay so how what is your pro forma this is your pro forma right date particulars lf cash amount bank amount discount allowed date particulars lf cash bank discount received we are receiving from discount this is the pro forma so here the first transaction is cash in hand and cash at bank it is an opening balance opening balance always be written on the debit side january 2019 year first january first to debit side eppudani 2 tho ni start avutund ani cheppan kada to what we should write here to balance brought down brought down we are bringing that amount in the company right to balance brought down so cash in hand is how much 15000 in cash column we are having 15000 students how much we are having at bank 4000 bank column 4000 here we are not having any discount allowed just i am keeping nil over right okay so it is an over next purchased machinery payment made by check what will be the journal entry what will be the journal entry purchase account debtor to by check we are paying through check we are paying means what we will get to bank account bank is going out right so in triple column cash book we should not take this transaction cash or bank transaction we should not take except contra entry what is the opposite thing we are having by purchase account here it is two means here it is by only no by purchase account so by will come in క్రెడిట్ సైడ్ ఆఫ్ త్రిపుల్ కాలమ్ క్యాష్ బుక్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఓకే మీకు అర్థమవుతుందని అనుకుంటున్నాను వాట్ ఈస్ ద డేట్ జాన్వరి ఫోర్త్ టూ థౌజండ్ నైన్టీన్ జాన్వరి ఫోర్త్ బై పర్చేజర్స్ ఓకే బై పర్చేజర్స్ through which we are paying through check we are paying through check means bank from bank this amount is deducting row right so that's why i am putting the amount in the bank column 2000 discount received nothing we have discount received just i am keeping the nil okay students next like this only you will have simple just you need to understand the journal entries next deposited into bank it seems deposited into bank what will be the journal entry while we are depositing the amount into bank cash is coming in or going out cash is going out so cash is going out means credit side to cash account right to cash account from whom it is going bank it is going bank account debtor to cash account this will be the journal entry okay so త్రిపుల్ కాలం లో మనము క్యాష్ ట్రాన్సాక్షన్ బ్యాంక్ ట్రాన్సాక్షన్ తీసుకోవద్దు అని చెప్పాను బట్ ఇక్కడ ఆపోజిట్ ఈస్ అ బ్యాంక్ బట్ ఆపోజిట్ ఈస్ అ క్యాష్ సో వాట్ వీ విల్ కాల్ దిస్ యాజ్ అ జర్నల్ కాంట్రా ఎంట్రీ వేర్ బ్యాంక్ అండ్ క్యాష్ ఆర్ కమింగ్ టుగెదర్ దట్ ఈస్ కాల్ ది కాంట్రా ఎంట్రీ జస్ట్ వీ నీడ్ టు ఎంటర్ ద బోత్ ద సైట్స్ ఓకే స్టూడెంట్స్ బోత్ ద సైట్స్ వీ నీడ్ టు ఎంటర్ దిస్ ఓకే దెన్ ఓన్లీ your answer is a correct this is a contra entry 
so first what we are having to cash to cash means the opposite term undi by bank by bank account to cash account by bank where it will come debit side or credit side credit side what is the date january 6th so here i am writing january 6th by bank okay in ledger folio in lf column you need to write a c because it is a contra entry transaction no c here it is a bank amount you need to put that amount in the cash column okay opposite dantlo es kovali what is the amount 6000 okay because it is a bank here we are putting the amount in the cash column if it is a cash means we need to put that amount in the bank column like that okay so this is over then opposite also we need to enter right because it is a contra entry to cash account to cash account will come in the debit side january 6th right 6th to cash account in ledger folio it is a c because it is a contra entry cash account means we need to put the amount in the bank column how much 6000 okay like this you need to enter the contra entry so where debit and credit both the sides will come that that transaction will come in the both the sides okay students i hope that you have got a clarity about this subject if you are having any subject uh, doubt means you please uh, like uh, what i should tell uh, you comment me in the comment section or else watch the video again and again you will get a clarity about that okay it is a contra entry transaction students okay see i am putting here next bought goods for cash we are purchasing goods for cash what will be the journal entry purchase account debtor to cash account cash is going out right so this is the journal entry okay manam cash transaction iskuntama iskoddu then opposite em undi purchases by purchase account it is a expense for us that's why i'm putting the amount in the credit side okay so how we need to write what is the date january 8th by purchases how much amount is 2500 i am putting the amount in the cash column because we are paying with the cash only not with bank okay so this is an over next january 10th paid to manoj 850 in the full settlement of 900 paid to manoj means what will be the answer journal entry so manoj is a personal account personal account rule is debit the receiver credit the giver we are paying to manoj means manoj is the receiver or the giver receiver so what will be the journal entry manoj account debtor to cash account right this is the journal entry but here what we are doing 900 kattalsina kada manam 850 e kadutunnam anta so that what we have got we have received the discount okay so this is the journal entry ma this is the journal entry to cash this code the opposite em undi by manoj account okay here i am writing january 10th by manoj account how much we are paying we are paying 850 rupees but actual amount is 900 but we are paying only 850 rupees means 50 remaining 50 is discount received no so here i am writing 850 in the cash column because we are paying and in bank column it is nil how much discount we have received 50 rupees discount we have received that's why i am receiving i am uh, writing this amount in a discount received column okay students i hope that you have got a clarity <coughs> next january 14th received 1250 uh, from david allowed him discount we are receiving the cash cash is coming in or going out coming in okay who is the giver david is a giver what will be the transaction cash account debtor to david account this is the transaction journal entry 
cash account we should not take opposite what we are having two debit account two two means debit side in the triple column cash book debit side what is the date january 14th to david account how much we are paying to david how much we are receiving from david 12000 achi 1250 how much we have allowed how much discount we have give for him 40 rupees so how much we are receiving 1250 okay bank column nothing how much we are discount allowed manam david kendra discount ichnam 40 rupees ichnam so that's why i'm putting the amount in the discount allowed column students okay next meeku ardham avutundani anukuntunnanu again i'm saying అర్థం కాకపోతే వీడియోని మళ్ళీ చూడండి అర్థం అవుతుంది జాన్వరి ఎయిటీన్త్ పెయిడ్ త్రూ డెబిట్ కార్డ్ టు సతీష్ ఫర్ వన్ థౌజండ్ సెవెన్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ ఫిఫ్టీ వన్ థౌజండ్ సెవెన్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ ఫిఫ్టీ వీఆర్ పేయింగ్ టు సతీష్ సో వాట్ విల్ బి ద ట్రాన్సాక్షన్ సతీష్ ఇస్ ద రిసీవర్ ఆర్ ద గివర్ రిసీవర్ వాట్ విల్ బి ద ట్రాన్సాక్షన్ సతీష్ అకౌంట్ డెటార్ టు బ్యాంక్ అకౌంట్ వై బ్యాంక్ వీఆర్ పేయింగ్ ఇట్ టు డెబిట్ కార్డ్ okay not with cash okay to bank account to bank we should not take what is the uh, opposite one we are having satish account by satish account here i am writing what is the date 18th by satish account through cash we are paying or through check we are paying through bank through bank we are paying debit card is a bank related thing right so that's why we need to enter that amount in the bank column 1750 in a bank column so this is a nil nil okay so ardham avutundandi are you getting are you following my point okay next january 20 paid for purchase of goods purchases we have purchased the goods what will be the journal entry cash is coming in or going out cash is going out what will be the journal entry purchase account debtor to cash is going out to cash account to cash we should not take what is the opposite thing we are having purchases by purchases right students 20 by purchases how much we are purchasing 355 cash amount we are getting we are putting the amount in the cash column okay so the last transaction used payment pay, used paytm for personal use 800 for personal use we are we are using the company's amount what will be the thing that is called drawings account actually i have discussed that right so if we are using the business amount for our personal use we will call it that amount as a drawings account okay while we are using the amount for a personal use cash is coming in or going out cash is going out for what purpose it is going out drawings account drawings account debtor to cash account this is the journal entry right so to cash we should not take what is the opposite thing we are having drawings account by drawings account what is the date 25th by drawings account okay we are using paytm okay it is a bank transaction not cash transaction right so 800 we should put that amount in a bank column because paytm is a bank only right so 800 over that simple this is the triple column cash book just we need to total it what we need to total it cash amount anta add cheskovali debit side ikkada chudandi 15000 16250 undi ikkada for suppose 10000 e und ankonde ekkada side takku undi ikkada side takku undi so cash account lakeni cash amount minus cheyali bank amount lakeni bank amount minus cheyali discount allowed discount received matram it will be same if it is a 40 means you should write a 40 only we should not balance it okay so just i will uh, do the calculation uh, so debit is showing more or credit is showing more just we need to look into the student okay so first we need to add the debit side cash book amount 15000 we are having plus 1250 total 16250 so here what uh, amount whatever we are having 
प्लस टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड प्लस एट फिफ्टी प्लस थ्री फिफ्टी फाइव हाउ मच वी आर हैविंग नाइन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड फाइव रुपीज ओनली बिकॉज क्रेडिट साइड इज लेस नो सो वॉट इज द लास्ट डेट ऑफ द जनवरी मंथ थर्टी फर्स्ट आई एम पुटिंग द लास्ट डेट बाय बैलेंस carry down how much we are carrying the balance that's why it is carry down here it is a first transaction is a brought down here carry down cd okay so out of 16 is the total amount debit amount how much we are having 16250 how much is less 6525 is the less amount okay so 6545 Six five four five. We are uh, this much is less. Okay. Next, here we are having ten thousand. Six thousand plus four thousand. Ten thousand. Here how much we are having? Two thousand plus one uh, seventeen hundred and fifty. Three thousand seven fifty. Three thousand seven fifty plus eight hundred. So here also credit is less. How much it is less? Uh, minus ten thousand. In ten thousand. How much it is less? Five four five zero is the less amount we are having in the credit side. Here I am writing five four five zero. Here total is fifty discount received. Here it is a forty. Okay, so like this we have I have received. Here we should not write. Okay, next what we need to do? We need to total it up. Okay, how we need to total it up? Total length only. What is the highest amount values we are having that we need to? Write it in the both the sides. Okay, equal amount you need to write that. Okay, students. So, इधर मात्रम कंपल्स अरे equal कराएंगे कुन्त मंदी students इधो कोटे कार्ड सर इधो कोटिंग को कार्ड सर ले आओ दो. So, this is the total amount is sixteen thousand two hundred and fifty ten thousand. Here it is a forty. Same here also sixteen thousand two hundred and fifty ten thousand. Here it is a fifty. Okay, over. so debit credit is equalizing okay next what we need to do the last step here we are it carry down january month amount we are carry down next what we need to do we need to brought down here after january what month we will have february so feb first feb first what will be the transaction to balance Brought down. We are bringing the carry down amount to the next month. Brought down. How much we are bringing? Six five four five in the cash column. Five four five zero is the bank amount. Five four five zero. That's it. Only whatever the carry down balance we are having that we need to brought down in the uh, next month in the opposite side. Here it is credit means here it is a debit. Okay, students. Like this you need to do the. Trial uh, three column cash book. If you are perfect with the journal entries, then only you will understand the concept of triple column. Okay, students, I will give some of the homework problems. Try to practice that homework problems. Then you will easily finish off this uh, three uh, trial balance. Okay, students. Now. i will uh, show that uh, homework problem just practice that and uh, do comment in the comment section how you or uh, answer what answer you have got so that I, whether it is a correct answer or wrong answer i will tell you okay so this is the question ma 12th question this is a homework question to you all okay so prepare triple column cash book of the following transaction Okay, prepare triple column cash book in the following transaction. On the first March two thousand nineteen, what we are having cash in hand and cash at bank. So in debit side to balance brought down cash amount is four thousand nine hundred. Bank amount is five thousand. Next, deposited cash into bank. Deposited means cash is going into the bank. What will be the transaction? It is a contra entry. Bank account data to cash account, right? Both the sides you need to write it. Okay. Next sales. If we are uh, sale uh, giving sales means cash is coming in or going out. Cash is coming in. What will be the general entry? Cash account detail to sales account. So two means debit side it will come to sales account and just pay. Sir, I only debit side in triple column cash book. Okay. Received a check from Ready. Ready is a name personal account. Ready is a giver or the receiver? Giver. 
ओके बैंक अकाउंट डेटा टू रेडी अकाउंट सो इन ट्रिपल कॉलम टू रेडी अंदर टू थाउज फाइव हंड्रेड वी शुड पुट दट अमौंट इन बैंक अमौंट ओके सो नैक्स्ट एक् रही इक टू रेडी अंदर इक बैंक कॉल टू थौज फाइव हंड्रेड रायम ओके नैक्स्ट कमीशन रिसीव वी आर् रिसीविंग द कमीशन मीन कैश इज कमिंग इन और गोइंग अवट कैश इज कमिंग इन सो डेबिट सैड कैश अकउंट डेटा टू कमीशन अकउंट टू कमीशन मीन हियर टू कमीशन अश अमौंट अमौंटी नैक्स्ट पेड टू वंशी वी आर् पे टू वंशी सो वट वि ट्रांसाशन बै वंशी अकउंट क्रेडिट सैड हाउ मच वी आर् पे सिक्सटी हंड्रेड वी आर् पे कैश अकउंट रही डिस्कउंट हाउ मच डिस्कउंट वी हाव रिसीव फोर हड्रेड सो हिर् डिस्कउंट रिसीव फोर हड्रेड इक रास नैक्स्ट रेडी चेक डिपॉजिटेड इन टू बैंक हियर दे गिव एनी अमौंट कॉलम ओके आलरे हियर टू थौज फाइव हंड्रेड गिव एन नोमा सो दैट चेक वाज डिपॉजिटेड इन टू बैंक मीन रेडी चेक डिपॉजिटेड इन टू बैंक मीन वाट विल बी द ट्रांसाशन कैश अकउंट डेटा टू बैंक अकउंट इट इज आलो कॉन्ट्रा एंट्री ओके वाट इज द अमौंट टू थौज फाइव हंड्रेड इज द अमौंट सो चाल मंदिर स्टूडेंट्स एम अमौंट कॉल इवेर का बट्टी इध रांग क्वेश्चन एमो ट्रांसाशन राटार अला आलरे दिन पैन आलरे मेन कदम मन रेडी ना चक् रिसीव चुस्कनामो आ चक् मन बैंक वेसेसा सो इट इज अ बैंक अकउंट डेटा टू क्या अकउंट काट्रा एंट्री नैक्स्ट पेड फर् ट्रांसपोर्ट पेमेंट बै ट्रांसपोर्ट क्रेडिट सर रही रिसीव कैश फ्रम श्रीकांत वाट वि ट्रांसाशन टू श्रीकांत डेबिट सर रास्काली टू श्रीकांत अमौंट वेसको डिस्कउंट अलौड मन की थ्री हड्रेड डिस्कउंट अलौड मैं थ्री हंड्रेड इच्छा का बट्टी थ्री हंड्रेड डेबिट सैड अमौंट कॉलम वैसे ओके नैक्स्ट Cash withdrawn from bank for office use, not for personal use. What will be the transaction? This is also a contra entry. Cash is coming in from which format? It is coming in bank cash account data to bank account, right? So contra entry ki bank and raste cash account le is calli cash and raste bank account le is calli number uh, amount. Next paid to Sham. Sham is receiver. Oh, okay, he is a receiver. So where we need to write? Credit side by sham account. How much we are paying? Two thousand. Two thousand amount. This is quality. How much discount we have received? So that is put. We should put that amount in the discount received column. Okay, students. Next thirty first. Purchased stationery and paid to debit current. Purchased stationery and what will be the journal entry? Stationery account data to cash account. But it is debit and to not debit and bank. Gada. So stationery account data to bank account. And is also the journal entry. So by stationery account and Rasi in the bank column you need to write that twelve hundred in the bank column because we are paying that amount through check, right? So like this is the transaction. Cash balance and thunda le fourteen fourteen thousand seven hundred thunda le. Bank balance seven thousand three hundred thunda le. Discount allowed amo three hundred. Discount received amo five hundred. If you are getting this answer means you are correct. Your answer is correct. Or else you have done a mistake. Okay. So this is the thing. If you are perfect with this uh, triple column, then twelve marks is in your hands only. And next important homework problem I will give. This is also seventeenth one homework. This I will not tell any explanation. Just practice this. So cash bank, cash balance, bank balance. Okay. Next issued check to Ram. Rama. Rama is receiving. Next cash sales. Cash is selling. Okay. So sales until name of the general entry cash account data to sales account. Right. So that is the journal entry. Cash deposited into bank. Received cash from Mohan. Check discount. Even ni oxa choose ko ni. Ah, triple column cash book ani thi vei endi. So answer will be this one. Okay. If you are getting this answer, means you are perfect with the triple column cash book. Okay. So by watching this video, I hope that you have got clarity about the triple column cash book. If you are having any doubts related to this, ah. Uh, Uh, triple column. You comment me in the comment section, and and definitely everyone should comment that how you felt about my explanation, whether it is a useful explanation or not. So 
i am not that much for uh, professional in this uh, teaching whatever i have followed in my graduation like that only i am explaining you with all okay so by watching this video uh, everyone should understand it okay so non commerce student aina kuda understand ayye vidhanga ee video lo cheppadam jarugutundi okay na so ట్రిపుల్ కాలం రావాలి అని అంటే మీకు కంపల్సరీగా మీరు జర్నల్ ఎంట్రీస్ నేర్చుకోవాలి సో జర్నల్ ఎంట్రీస్ ట్రయల్ బ్యాలెన్స్ త్రిపుల్ కాలం క్యాష్ బుక్ ఎక్స్ప్లెనేషన్ వీడియోస్ ఆల్రెడీ ఐ హ్యావ్ అప్లోడెడ్ ఇన్ అప్కమింగ్ వీడియోస్ ఐ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ బీఆర్ఎస్ ఫైనల్ అకౌంట్స్ డిప్రిసియేషన్ రెక్టిఫికేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎర్రర్స్ ఆల్సో ఓకే స్టే ట్యూన్ టు ఆర్ ఛానల్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ద ఎక్స్ప్లెనేషన్ వీడియోస్ ఐ ఆమ్ పోస్టింగ్ ఇన్ ఆర్ ఛానల్ దాట్ ఈస్ ఎనఫ్ టు స్కోర్ ఓ గ్రేడ్ ఇన్ ఫైనాన్షియల్ అకౌంటింగ్ అగైన్ ఐఎమ్ సేయింగ్ స్టూడెంట్ డోంట్ కన్ఫ్యూజ్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ద క్వశ్చన్స్ అండ్ థింగ్స్ ఐ హ్యావ్ గివెన్ దాట్ ఈస్ ఎనఫ్ టు స్కోర్ గుడ్ మార్క్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ ఫైనాన్షియల్ అకౌంటింగ్ ఓకే ఇఫ్ యూఆర్ అ నాన్ కామర్స్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఆల్సో బై వాచింగ్ మై వీడియోస్ యూ కెన్ ఈజీలీ అండర్స్టాండ్ ద హోల్ కాన్సెప్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఫైనాన్షియల్ అకౌంటింగ్ ఒకవేళ మీకు ఈ త్రిపుల్ కాలం ఎక్స్ప్లెనేషన్ మీకు అర్థమైందనంటే కంపల్సరిగా కమెంట్ చేయండి సో దాట్ ఐ విల్ కంటిన్యూ ఫర్ ది ఫర్దర్ ఎక్స్ప్లెనేషన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫైనాన్షియల్ అకౌంటింగ్ ఆల్సో ఓకే ఒకవేళ అర్థం కాకపోతే అర్థం కాలేదు అని చెప్పండి ఓకేనా మీరు చెప్పేది మాకు అర్థం అవ్వట్లేదు అని చెప్పినా కూడా నో ప్రాబ్లమ్ సో దాట్ ఐ విల్ స్టాప్ మై ఎక్స్ప్లెనేషన్ వీడియోస్ బికాస్ నేను ఇంత కష్టపడి చేసింది మీకు అర్థం కాకపోతే అది కూడా తప్ప ఏమంటారు వేస్ట్ ఆఫ్ టైం కదా so that's why i'm saying so in our channel whatever the related videos are there to financial accounting follow that videos and financial accounting paper will be damn easy don't worry don't get tensed in upcoming videos i will definitely upload the explanation videos uh, but uh, you should comment me in the comment section let's see how many members will comment in the comment section about my explanation if you are really getting the explanation you just practice Uh, previous year question papers of triple column how what type of questions they are asking journal entries everything so that you if you are perfect with that means you can easily understand and you can easily score 12 marks 12 marks is in your hands only okay students so all the very best for your examination and preparation like this video if you like this video then like share and subscribe to our channel and share with all your friends and groups this will be useful for them also okay so and uh, many of you were seeing and watching our channel but you people are not subscribing that is a sad thing for me so if you think that this video is a worthy this channel is worthy means you do uh, subscribe it will motivate me to do further videos ma okay so here i am not doing any vlogging channel or nothing here it is a educational channel for educational channel uh, the main thing is we should get motivating by you by subscribing only okay this much hard work i am doing if you people are not subscribing means it is a waste of time for me and you also okay so once again all the very best for your examination as well as the preparation do start your preparation and follow my tips and tricks to score o grade and to get easily in the financial accounting uh, subject okay see you all in next video bye bye students